To the story now, the suspension of the Cape Town taxi strike, which has caused havoc for the Cape Townians in the past few days, has come as a welcome relief to many. Now to unpack this, we're joined in studio via Zoom by the chairperson of the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Transport, uh, Mainali Soma, as the Portfolio Committee released a statement saying it welcomes uh, the suspension. Ms. Lesoma, thanks uh, very much for taking the time and joining us on Soweto TV News. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon to your good self and your viewers as well, and thank you so much for the opportunity. Much appreciated. I mean, Santaco has finally subsided the strike. Uh, what is your take uh, on uh, that, considering that uh, the violent incidents that we've been seeing, you know, unfolding in Cape Town over the past few days? Uh, let's start by saying that late is better than nothing. Uh, we, as the committee, we, uh, we welcome the decision and the agreement that has been reached. However, we were equally uh, concerned, like any other citizens of this country, of the lives and the businesses that they were grossly disrupted. Uh, we, we, we also want to say that uh, uh, what, what uh, the dissatisfaction of the taxi industry and the response of the city, I think they would have handled better than the way they have. But most importantly for the city and the lawmakers is that we must make sure that our public participation processes are tedious to make sure that each and every citizen uh, uh, which will be impacted by the decision or reviews of the bylaws of the city in particular, of the city of Cape Town, should ensure that incorporate everybody. But also even the response that they, 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 they took, I think they would have done better than how they have handled the matter. However, we are satisfied for now to say that they have reached uh, uh, that uh, agreement and which is pending because it is a program that will take place. But we would like also to send our heartfelt, sincere condolences with regret of the five lives that has been lost because of, of, of this and also the vandalization of the transportation assets such as buses and, and vehicles and all that. It should be stopped and it should be something that should be avoided by all costs. As the committee table, we must say that uh, with our concern, we are not just verbally saying we are concerned. We have agreed with the chairperson of the police and other committees that might be impacted about this incident that we need to hold, which is now on motion convened by for Thursday at half past nine to get a, a full account of what prompted this and how could it be avoided and also moving forward what would be the plans that will ensure that there's no repeat of this such and also which could be a, a, a learning a template for other municipalities to say how best can they handle the situations Ms. not to Ms. wait for national government to intervene miss uh, lesoma um, the taxi drivers have complained about the unfair treatment from the western cape government as you're saying that there will be a meeting so that you can get uh, full details of uh, you know how to avoid the situation in future how will this be sorted does the suspension of the strike mean that uh, the problem has been resolved or there's a few days that uh, um, you know both parties need in order to make sure that uh, things go back to normal from the statement from Santaco that I've just read, it talks about 14 days. But also what we are saying, the city, the way they have responded, it shows very well that in terms of their public participation processes, there are gaps. So they need to go back to the drawing box, box and, 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 and see how best they deal with those issues. But also in even the response, the way they've handled the matter, I, I, I think there's something to take home for them to deal with that one. So we are saying that both parties, we are not saying that the city mustn't have bylaws and the bylaws must be undermined, but there is a way if there's a concern, we must be a listening government and a caring government. And also there must be some concessions if, the, if needs to be to say, how do we then not uh, strangle the operations of the cities, but of the city, uh, taxi industries. But equally, we are saying that even taxi industries also the we, they must have a, a, a better way of handling the issue. We know when people are frustrated, special business communities, they will opt for uh, another alternate. And we are saying that the city of Cape Town should respond better in moving forward, not only for the taxi industry, of any dissatisfaction of the citizens of Cape Town. Just lastly, before I let you go, um, can we be able to quantify, uh, you know, the damage that has been caused by 
the strike itself. I mean, we saw quite a lot of activity in uh, the mother city being affected, particularly as a place that, uh, you know, has been voted as number one in the world uh, to visit. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, tourists being affected there. Um, can we quantify the damages and also how it impacted on tourism, particularly in that area? It's still a work that needs to be done. I, and uh, that question warrants a scientific response, which as I'm talking to you, we haven't done that. And, and, and I think it's important that you raise this one. We will also uh, request the ministers when they come before the portfolio committee or the joint portfolio committee, they do ask, give us an estimation in a way, because also it, it does scare away the, the, the tourists and investors in the city. So those are the other implications that this incident would attract, which would really regret, and would like to give internationals and ourselves domestically a sense of comfort that we are a responsive government and we are a listening government for all from both uh, parties, government and also affected stakeholders. So I'm saying that uh, that's the work that needs to be done, and the citizens and South Africans would be informed about. Mema Inale Soma, thanks very much for taking the time and talking to us. That was uh, the chairperson of the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Transport, uh, Mainale Soma, talking to us about the recently halted Cape Town taxi strike and measures that the Portfolio Committee will take in making sure that such clashes are avoided moving forward. We will be keeping a close eye on that story as it unfolds.